Oh, hello, my YouTube friends. Today, a bit of a different video. We're not in my engineering space, we're in my garage at home. Yeah, it's a little untidy, but I'll be rectifying that. What we have here is a project that I started back in 2020. Um, it's my attempts to build my very own commercial filament extruder, as I, as I do work with um, 3D printing. So, what we have here is sort of an attempt at trying to get things to work, see what would work, etc. So basically I've got the extruder here with hopper. As you can see a variety of 3D printed parts. Um, cooling bar and then what would be here would be um, the puller that pulls the filament to size and spoiler just on the end there. Now I'm coined this the Filamax factory as it's basically it's uh, meant to produce um, filament and the business that name that it was done under is called Filamax. So, if you're looking for the 3D printing side of what I do, you look, do a search for Filamax. So, this is more or less a variation on an extruder called the Lyman extruder, as I had needed a point of reference to work from. But since then, it has gone drastically differently. Like things have tra changed quite a bit. So. With what I'm doing here, I'm going to be changing a lot of stuff. I'm going to be reprinting new parts. I'm going to be making a bigger cooling bath. The extruder here is pretty much largely going to be unchanged. The only few changes is that some of these 3D printed parts, I will use uh, PCBWay CNC servicing. Uh, sorry, PCBWay's CNC services to actually manufacture these parts out of nylon. Uh, this back piece and front piece here as well, I'll get those remanufactured. Um, as well, so that they'll look a little bit better to what I've got there. But I am going to get those machined up. But for the most part, everything is largely as it is. So um, I'll eventually take you through the design of Fusion 360, and I'll also have a video showing the first part I'm going to be working on is the updated version of this cooling bath. Because I found that this one was just too small for what I required, and at the speed the machine's running at, I need, I need more bath to cool off sufficiently by the time it gets down to the measuring and spooling. Um, also because it's in the garage and somehow a bloody cat got in here, it decided to use my pulling mechanism as a launch pad and snap the plastic. This is also printed at a time where I still hadn't dulled in my um, printer as well. So since then I've improved things quite a bit. And hence why this is warped here is because I also print a lot of these parts out of PET. I'm now printing a lot of it out of I'm um, sorry, PLA. I'm now printing out of PET. These parts here are ABS, and they'll be staying as they are. And this hopper here holds roughly three to five kilos of, no, yeah, about three to five kilos of pellets, which then gets filled up to fill up a nice big roll. The big roll is just down below here, you can't see it. It's about that big in diameter, and holds about 20 to 100 kilos of filament. So, in the next video, I'll start going over things in a bit more detail, things are going to be changing, things are going to be updating. Also, um, PCBWay is also going to be ma making the custom board for me, the controller board. I'm going to go for, away from using a ramp stack and actually using a proper custom board, still using the AT Mega 2560 microcontroller, but I will, st I will be using a custom board and I'll be using full graphic LCD screens, so not none of, the, none of these switches like this anymore. It's all going to be soft touch, you name it. So, I'll see you in the next one.